What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Um, let's just cut right to the chase. Subscribe. That's the most important thing you need to remember. Subscribe. Follow me at Naptown Sneaker Reseller Instagram. And uh, so today we have a Nike review. As you can tell from this box, this is a Nike SB review. I always like the box, the Tiffany color box with the black. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is a drop that happened this past weekend. Um, and I just got the shoes today because the shipping was a little slow. But um, nonetheless, we're doing the review today on the Nike SB Dunk Mid Pro Quick Strike. And they're calling these the White Widow. Um, and the suggested retail price was only 100 bucks, so that was pretty good with free shipping. Um, these are sold. The official colorway is Sale Gym Red Fresh Mint. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Cool name. For the colorway. Uh, when you open up the box, you're hit with this nice QC stamp there. It lets you know that it passed inspection and quality standards. This wrapping paper, I'm not too sure about why it's like that. I'm not sure if that's how it is on all SBs, but this one happened to have like some kind of waves here or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of line texture going all sorts of directions. And then we have the, here it is guys, the Nike SB Mid Pro Quick Strike White Widow is what they're calling these. Very nice shoe, super, super clean shoe. I mean, very, very nice. Let me show you guys the other one. Here is the other one. Very, very nice. So, let's get started on this review, guys. So, like I said, let's get a thumbnail real quick, like always. So, like I said, this review. Um, or these shoes came out this past weekend. Um, they were a quick strike. They, they only came out in a select few stores, surprisingly. So they were a lot more limited than a lot of people anticipated. And so, as a result, a lot of people struck out. But resale isn't too crazy on these. Um, I managed to sell these for a good profit. But, um, so yeah, these are meant to celebrate the day of 420 as they did release on... April 20th so they're meant to celebrate that 420 holiday and a lot of you guys know what that is it's a day they celebrate you know cannabis um, and people decide to smoke you know marijuana that day smoke weed <laughs> um, but yeah this is called the white widow because of that um, so white widow is actually a strain of weed strain of weed that's um, you know it's widely known around the world and is a lot of people's favorites um, and I only know that because I actually looked it up <laughs> and it had a picture of it and this the white widow is actually like a very pale type of weed strand and so it kind of has this like mint green color like the upper of the shoe has and like this very like beigeish gray color I don't know it's, it, has, it has a very weird color to it and the laces actually help um, further you know illustrate that with the laces they're 3M and white and the strand of uh, white widow um, weed is actually very um, iridescent and like its own color. It's very palish. I don't know. You guys got to look it up. Um, so yeah, that's the, this perfectly illustrates that. Um, and some other things that I'll show you here in a minute. But let me use this shoe for a better view. But the toe box, as you can see, has that fresh mint green colorway. And is a very hairy. As you can see, look, just from rubbing, I got a bunch of suede ashy suede on the box and I think it's meant to do that because when people are rolling up blunts a lot of the residue lands on like wherever they're rolling it on and so that kind of adds to that as well also strands of weed are very hairy sometimes again 420 holiday um, but yeah you can see the perforations there around around the toe box and then on the toe box overlay you see just different color of uh, like a grayish, creamish beige, I want to say. Again, all hairy uh, suede on the upper. But it's good quality, surprisingly. It's not like the cheap Jordan um, hairy suede we saw on the Toro uh, Toro 5s last year. So that's good. The SB there in red. And then it has like this Velcro strap. So that's pretty cool. But let me undo that because I got to show you guys something very cool here in a minute. So that's kind of cool. Um, the laces, like I said, they're 3M. The aglets are red as well. Look at that, guys. Very nice 3M. 
Um, the tongue is nylon tongue, and then you can see the Nike Air branding, Nike SB branding in red. And then let me show you guys some more stuff. Um, the Nike swooshes in red as well, with that nice hairy suede there, and then we're hit with some more of that fresh green mint there, and then towards the back as well, around the ankle collar, and then we have some more of that grayish beigeish suede there. And then the midsole guys actually have a, a very small like hint of cream white there. And then the outsoles you can see is very white. The outsole is your regular SB mid pro uh, outsole. But with this time we have this like hourglass kind of like a black widow hourglass like they have. So that's kind of like what that represents. And then on the inside which I've been wanting to show you guys. Let me see if I can pull it out might be a little hard to pull out but on the inside guys yeah it's gonna be hard to pull out but on the inside anyways it has a snake with the hourglass there a white widow uh, a snake why am I saying snake a white widow spider or it's supposed to be a white widow but there isn't a such thing as a white widow but that's kind of cool it's like a hybridized hybridized uh, a white widow obviously supposed to be like you know the Hint, hint, the White Widow uh, marijuana strand. And then in so underneath the tongue, guys, it's actually pretty nice. It has like a little pocket in here where you can where it holds a lighter. So that's kind of cool and convenient for all you guys that actually wore these shoes on 420. I'm pretty sure that was very convenient. <laughs> or even like a little, like hide your money down there. That's pretty cool. That's very clever and creative. Um, yeah, hide your uh, lighter down there your blunts maybe <laughs> um so yeah that's kind of creative that's a big one up for them it serves its purpose if you guys remember the og um uh sb they did for the skunk the sb skunk that one was a really nice one i still that one goes for a lot of resale the inner liner is all white guys but yeah this is the newer version of like the one paint homage to you know the holiday of 420 the extra laces are cream white just like the midsole uh, what else guys um, that's pretty much it this one comes with an extra another one of those uh, pockets underneath the tongue nothing special there but other than that guys let me know what you guys think um, I think this is a really good way for them to celebrate the holiday of 420 um, that was kind of creative um, very very creative and also this this drop wasn't very kind of low key because it wasn't until last minute that they announced they were going to drop a Nike SB um, skateboard shoe for the, you know, and to commemorate the day of the 420 holiday. So that was kind of creative. But let me know what you guys think and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.